Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with uh, construction project management in the topic of earned value analysis. So this method is very much useful to uh, find out the tracking, uh, tracking of the cost and uh, schedule of the project. Okay, so the problem is here project is undertaken where the work has to be completed within 60 days. So the duration of the project is 60 days. So then with the project, sorry, with the budget of 20,000. Okay, so 20,000. The cost breakdown per month is 10,000. So it will be completed in two months. So in the for the first month we have to spend 10,000 and another month we can spend 10,000. Okay. So next the work schedule in the each month is the half of the total work. Okay, is to be completed according to the program progress report. At the end of the first month, only 25% of the total budget has to has been spent. Okay. Also, the completion of 25% of work, the actual cost incurred is 50% of the total budget cost. Okay. Now, given 25% of work completed. with cost incurred is 50 percentage okay so now the total budget the in the total budget only the 25 percentage of work completed and but we can uh, but we utilized 50 percentage of total budget okay so now So now the amount of uh, so now the amount spent is fifty percentage of total budget. So the fifty percentage fifty by hundred into total budget is twenty thousand. So we get ten thousand. Okay, so ten thousand we are spent now. So now the rate of performance can be expressed in the time uh, in the term of percentage. So now we can uh, calculate the rate of performance. So rate of performance is twenty five divided by fifty into hundred. Okay, so the rate of performance is fifty percentage. Okay. So the 50 percentage of work to be completed within the month but we completed only 25 percentage so the rate of performance is only 50 percentage okay so the half of the uh, work is to be completed now. So 75 percentage of work to be completed in the next one month. So next thing is. Next we can calculate earned value. Earned value EV. So EV equal to the formula is rate of performance into planned value. So the rate of performance uh, is 50 percentage and into planned values. 10,000 so we got 5,000 okay so this indicate the total actual cost incurred is 10,000 but according to the plan uh, only the we spend 5,000 okay so uh, only we spend uh, 5,000 but the thing is we are spending instead of 5,000 we are spending 10,000 okay so next thing is cost variance CV. So that is BCWP minus ACWP. That is budget cost work performed and actual cost work performed. So actually the budget cost work performed is uh, 5000. Ok. So 5000 is allowed to spend in the first month minus the actual cost is 10,000. Okay, so the minus 5000, so that is over utilized. 
so the cost is over okay so next thing is uh, we have to find out the cost performance index so that is cpi so cpi equal to the formula is same bcwp divided by acwp so that is performance uh, is 5000 that is budgeted cost performance so next is actual cost performance 10000 okay equal to 1 by 2 so the half of the so cpa is half that is 0.5 okay so next thing is uh, go for schedule so schedule uh, variance so schedule variance sv also same so the bc wp minus bc ws so that is uh, so that is budgeted cost work performed and the budgeted cost work scheduled okay so so work performed is 5000 minus schedule is 10000 okay again minus 5000 okay so the project is behind the schedule okay so next thing is uh, schedule performance index spi so that's also 5000 divided by 10000 so that will be 1 by 2 so that is work progress is half the schedule okay so next thing is estimated completion cost okay so estimated completion cost so now planned value of the whole project divided by cpa okay so the planned value is uh, 20000 divided by cpa so the cost performance indication is 0.5 so that will be 40000 okay so for the completion of project we have to spend 40000 because of low performance okay so next thing is estimated time to complete so same so we 60 60 days we are plan so but uh, the cost but the spi that is schedule performance indicator is 0.5 so we go for 120 days okay so even though we planned for uh, 60 days but it uh, it take 120 days because of poor performance okay so from that we can easily track the project and uh, we easily identify the uh, and calculate the performance of the project again we'll see next video thank you